for the camera, baby. Okay, buddy. Well, here we are. We're in Dinosaur Park. <clears throat> uh, what do we be here? Tuesday, uh, Tuesday afternoon. Oh, geez, I forgot again. Maybe it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's the 18th, whatever that works out to be. <laughs> ah, it's good to be able to forget what day of the week it is again. Yeah, well, we know it's May the 18th, so that's good enough. Yeah, a little water. Oh, hang on. Oh, you okay there, Mo? Good. Anyway, let's just get square away here. I think I think we should um, talk about the posting I've been putting out again today. Um, after some due thought and passing around for others to think about. <clears throat> How most effectively to deal with the corporate bottom line. <clears throat> over this year, uh, Nukenets bullshit that's just been going on. I'm sorry. It's been going on open air since long before 1943. But definitely by 1943, you had <clears throat> subcritical fusion and critical fusion going and releasing directly into the atmosphere. Hence the term fallen star. Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should give my cells. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it worked like that. <sighs> oh, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, you know, basically what I'm saying there is, uh, what the fuck? Something with such potential damage and, and potential damage to spread to different jurisdictions, and then you get into that. Oh, fuck, man. You, now this is world court shit. How do you remedy this real quick with a uh, court orders to do this or to not or to cease and desist from doing that in the event of an emergency and an unwilling um, proprietor uh, that has uh, title to the land and the rights and, and the process and the, that uh, I'm of course talking about Tepco's uh, plant number uh, one at F Fukushima. There, um, you know. <clears throat> The one with three of the reactors melted down and one of them with all kinds of plutonium scattered about amongst the uranium. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so <clears throat> just in case uh, any of you haven't been following. Yeah, so uh, given the nature of it, um, I, I, we're all sick and dying of getting nuked. Um, in the coming little while, you're going to see a lot of the science community coming out and showing you, actually, here's proof in your face. Uh, here, you want to look closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Here's here, here's the details. Here's the microscopic details. Here's the macroscopic. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, be prepared for that. Okay. And, um, do you want to have these, uh, critical possible, uh, piles of, uh, Ryogenics? Well, no problem. First, you got to put up, you got to put up the dough into a common holding. Uh, I guess uh, at all levels, municipal and then uh, uh, provincial or state or prefecture or uh, and then and then country-wise and then globally and you have to do a surety and get everyone in, in agreement and signing off with 51% of the stakeholders in that jurisdiction signing off on your permit and before then you have to put into each of theirs uh, the equivalent value of the worst case thing that could happen with whatever you intend to do till, till that uh, radioactive uh, material is uh, rendered stable again as stable as as when it was taken out of its natural disposition uh, you know no <clears throat> no longer a major uh, factor in the environment okay and uh, that will be set according to uh, 
you have to present the technology, the counter technology to what you're doing. So worst case scenario, uh, you know, <clears throat> somebody nu shoots you with a nuclear bomb or a, or a meteorite crashes into your reactor. Uh, that being perhaps the worst case, or, or nuked with a neutron beam or a, a EMP from from a gamma ray burst or whatever. These are all real shit that happens. <clears throat> um, let's see the technology and see that it's in place before you get your permit to fire her up. Uh, that will suppress this under the worst case scenario, which is going to determine that that security deposit because you're you're renting the life matrix of Earth with this shit, big time renting. You know, you're not, you're not just you're not just renting a little locker compartment in a chain station, you're, you're renting like uh, like huge tracts of land, like globally in the sea, the entire life matrix with some of this shit, as Fukushima is now proving. Okay, this tax, this um, performance uh, guarantee, uh, that's part and parcel of the permit process, before it's put before everyone, at whatever level you're doing, I don't care if you're a Bhopal chemical plant or a BP oil rig or or whatever, th this is how it's going to be. You have to put that there. You got to put it in, <clears throat> held in trust uh, to those who are going to be acting as your administrators. And they have to be publicly approved as well. And not by representatives, by real democracy, like 50% plus one person of all the stakeholders. And it's not a yes or no by uh, next week, you got to decide. No, no, this is when, when, when you've been shown enough proof that you consent to something. Uh, you know, you have to say a declaration signing such that you do comprehend. Uh, not the word understand, but comprehend. And you are uh, accepting the strict liability of your vote. Uh, and, and, you know, there you go, that's my vote, uh, that's my authority. Uh, I say this can happen. <clears throat> under its concerns to me. Okay, that's that's a vote, not a representative vote. No, 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 no. No, none, none of this bullshit we've had. Real, real democracy. Real forum democracy. Extended to everyone. Not like the foreign days where it was not equal at all because so you're getting together to decide how you're gonna manage your slaves in, in Greece or Rome. The Roman Republic. In its earlier forms with the twins no 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 I'm talking real <clears throat> see they couldn't they couldn't nuke everything destroy the sea the oceans the air the soils the substrata see homo sapiens not only can are <clears throat> and for now on you got to prove that you can remedy what you're doing nope no matter what and it's an updatable process. At any time, consent can be revoked. That's what a true democracy is. If things change, your knowledge comes to light, conditions change, whatever, right? People start withdrawing consent. And um, it's up to you as the TEPCO or, or whatever, uh, British Petroleum, it, it's up to you to fucking respond. Okay. <clears throat> you, uh, your corporations, it, the balancing day is nigh. So you're not the only ones that live here, corporations. No. These uh, homo sapiens may have created you. Knowingly or unknowingly or under duress or willfully. Uh, but you can be no more than equal at the best to any other life form. Don't fucking try and dominate me. Don't try and set other species dominating one another. Like the humans against everything. The homo sapiens against everything. Just, no, forget it. You're... The day of corporate accountability is now. <sighs> so, um, if there are any questions, just, um, Put them down there in the comments on this here uh, <clears throat> accountability licensing now. You know, basically, if what you do is outside of your own fucking yard, uh, then you have to uh, you have to seek consent of those you may affect. 
And when it's something over uh, such a re uh, level as, as uh, nuclear power generation or, or nuclear warheads, completely, you have to be completely liable, 100% strict, that's major time. Clearly that affects way outside of your own backyard, so it is everyone's business because it does go globally, and by everyone I don't just mean you homo sapiens, just all other kinds of us life forms. Um, it's just how it's going to be. If you can't afford to do business, well, you, you can't afford to do business. You're, you're, you're obsolete. Nope, no problem. There's lots of change. The change is going to be the normal, but I mean, like, real change. <clears throat> like you do this, or... Or we don't survive kind of change. So, you know, you want to have fucking nukes? Yeah, you go right ahead. You can, you know, you want to have uh, 800 nukes, Israel? Okay, we'll have a quick examination and we'll have an, exam an examination of everything. All your delivery systems. All, all you fuckers. Uh, you know, India, Pakistan... United States, Britain, France, Israel, you, uh, China, Israel, all of you, <laughs> you gotta fucking uh, cough up the money. You wanted a fucking global government, you got it. <clears throat> Following that, well, then um, I guess they're gonna have to be confiscated and uh, rendered safe and inert, and uh, you'll have to pay that bill too. So you can either do the work or we can. Um, uh, how do you want to play this game? And then when we're all done, uh, you know, you're welcome to carry on. Get the fuck off my earth. Um, there's a whole, whole, whole lot out there. I'll, I'll be glad to give you a hand. And not, not the kind of hand you would like to give me that punch into next Tuesday. Um, the kind of hand to where you're, you can figure it out on your own. To where your, your brain is actually working. So, there you go. Uh, got a better idea? <clears throat> put it put it down there in the video comment if, if it doesn't fit into the type four comment. Come on, I know fucking well most of you people got camcorders on top of your laptops. And even if you don't, you know, 20 bucks you can go get one. That'll work. <sighs> there you go. Oh. So, as you can see, um, Stephen Harper, Canadians, do uh, care about their governance. So much so that you... I don't know what you do. Nothing, I guess. Just like a typical politician. Sit back and look for cracks that you can scam out of. But, hey, fuck, if you want to bear the, the weight of the Harper government to actually come to be something, I just know all of us that actually pay your wages would be just um, <clears throat> right there to tell you what to do. Fuck, you can join in like volunteers when it's really important shit and we can somehow or another swing it. You'll, uh... <coughs> You'll figure it pretty soon, uh, you little robot. <clears throat> that common sense circuitry we installed in your brain there ought to just help, no problem. <sighs> yeah, did it while I was tugging at your heart plug here. <laughs> Come on, beat, damn it! Beat, robot! Come on, beast! Beat! <laughs> <clears throat> Same with that, that last Obamatron. Hey guys, get back here! Same with that last Obamatron or Sambatron unit there down in in D.C. Don't worry about it. Your human female accomplice will take good care of you there, Barak. <laughs> Barry. Barry Sotero. Uh, I don't think she's going to let you play with any more attack drones or footballs or anything like that. Come on, guys! But as we clearly talked before you even became 
President. <clears throat> She'll take care of you. Okay, go on, guys. Okay, we'll have, here, we'll have a look. No, okay, go, we're not going in there. Forget it. Radiation, Mo. Stay all on the path. Hey, let's have a look at that nifty silver tree. If only I had my glasses with me. Got it back when I can put it on the computer screen. It's a it's a late bloomer anyhow. <sighs> well here, we're here, we're here. Well, there you go. I'll see if I can update that uh, that uh, moth video too. Do a little editing on it. That's actually a uh, <clears throat> sterile insect re release program uh, prodigy, which has been done all over the world for many generations, and uh, that's a that's a product or a uh, unwanted natural spin-off uh, that's now able to. Reproduce on its own. Uh, so, you know, <clears throat> kind of knew this, uh, guaranteed this stuff was going to happen, and well, there you go. Hey, I started following it. The sterile, the SIR program, sterile insect replete release back in um, the Tetsi fly in uh, the African savannas. You know, way back in the Oh, I don't know, late 70s. And, uh, I am a fan. Well, anyhow, we do it here. They've doing it, been doing it here for quite a while to try and deal with the uh, gypsy moth after they brought in all the orchard trees and whoever brought the gypsy moth in. You know, truth is, is that stuff can be done by competitive acting saboteurs that want to sabotage a region and, and then buy it up. Maybe convert it into something else or whatever. Right? Corporate tricks. That's that's nothing wrong with that. That's just business making. Well, except for all the major laws of common sense and criminal and maritime law and commercial law that are broken. <coughs> well, <coughs> there you go. We'll let you pass with a little bird tune.